Hello and welcome, I'm Jesse Nelson, I'm the minister of the North City Church of Christ, and today we come back with another family devotional. But this time I want you guys to be the one doing the devotional. I asked a question on Facebook, and I posted a video earlier yesterday of my kids screaming and being all crazy and jumping on top of me, and it was more of a funny, more of a funny video, I didn't really mind. I wasn't really mad or upset, it was just a funny coronavirus, here's where we're at. And so I wanted to ask a serious question after that, and I just wanted to use these comments as my devotional, no matter where they went or how they went, I wanted them to be the devotional for you. So if you're a child or if you are a parent or a grandparent, I want you to remember that even during these times, your children, your young ones, those who look up to you still matter. No matter how much they may possibly annoy you at this time or they may get on your nerves or you're frustrated, all those things that can happen. I just want you to remember, and I'm gonna, I have this verse up here in Psalm 127. Children are a heritage from the Lord, offspring a reward from him. Like arrows in the hands of a warrior are children born in one's youth. Blessed is the man whose quiver is full of them. And so having four children myself, I'm not even going to comment. I'm not even going to tell you mine. I want this all to be your guys. And I always figure there's going to be one person who's kind of funny. And so I'll read the first person's. Um, so I ask, how have your children changed your life for the better? Tom Bowling <clears throat> put, they passed spelling. And uh, I had the word changed spelled wrong for some reason. Whenever I type it in, it's C-H-N-A-G-E-D. I know how to spell it. But they passed spelling. So, Tom, great for you. Um, I'm not going to read all the names. I just want to throw Tom out there under the bus, a uh, preaching friend of mine. So, my daughter has given me grandchildren. They have given me great-grandchildren. There is simply nothing better than that. So, the legacy. Here's another one. I've enjoyed watching them grow the last month especially and to see how they navigate the changes to their lives. I love their curiosity and love for Jesus and it has encouraged me a lot. Another person, my life is richer, full of love, laughter, and entertainment. Liam has brought has helped me has helped teach me to be more patient and prayerful about things I wouldn't normally pray about. I have also learned not to be so worried about the little things and just try to enjoy every day and not be so controlling. More entertainment and teaching me to be patient. And yeah, to the previous comment, I can't control everything. Um, children teach you a level of selflessness, compassion, joyfulness, pride, and mama bear skills unlike any other relationship you'll ever experience. Here's another person's. Having children taught me about deeper levels of unselfish love, patience, understanding, protection, happiness, fun, devotion, tiredness, joy, and it repeats with in-laws and grandchildren. Here's another person's. <clears throat> Both were absolute gifts from God. My oldest was born when we were in the first years of our 20s and our youngest five years later. During this time, we were away from our families and it was the initial years of our military service. They both made us more cohes more of a cohesive family, along with making us grow up fast. They made us realize we were no longer kids ourselves and that we needed to be responsible adults that would raise two individuals who would contribute to society instead of being a menace to society. Both have grown to be wonderful adults who care about others around them. Our youngest is married, but our oldest is not. However, both are very in independent and have lived out from under our roof for many years now. So they helped me feel we were 90% successful at getting them through their childhood years and that we were not that bad of parents. Here's another one. I feel like I have grown so much spiritually having my two youngins. They have stretched me in so many ways and I am so grateful for it. They are blessings for sure. One thing I learned years ago, my children are a very rare blessing from God and we have to treasure them. And then finally, this one was interesting. I really enjoyed this one. This is Kyle Melvin, another preaching friend of mine. He does not have children, but here's what he said. So I, I find this to be very enlightening. <clears throat> May I answer in reference to my niece and nephew? And this is exactly what I want to get across, is you don't have to have physical children yourself to learn these lessons, to have your quiver seem full and to point little kids in the direction of, of God. It says they remind 
they've reminded me of the amazement the small things in life can spark in our eyes, that excitement and curiosity should be overflowing. They've taught me patience and also the beauty found in tr intricately different personalities. They also make me want to be a better man so I can help, help teach them as they grow. And so um, what I wanted to do for this devotional is to remind you how awesome kids are, how awesome, even though you're maybe in a time where you don't feel like they're awesome, you don't feel like they're great, to treasure them, to love them. Um, I saw someone <clears throat> post earlier today, it's one of their daughter's birthday, of going back through all the memories, you realize how short time is. Don't miss out on all the opportunities that God has given you to love them, to direct them, to guide them, and also to treasure them. Love you and God bless.